the construction line command. What we're going to do is we're going to complete the top, front, and right side views of this object. I want you to notice the top view. In the top view, the inclined plane. Notice the inclined plane here in the front view. It is missing in the top view. Matter of fact, it's missing in the right side view. The right side view has a lot more missing. It has all this upper part missing. What we're going to do is we're going to use construction lines to complete the right side view and the inclined plane in the top view. The first thing I'm going to do is the inclined plane in the top view. I want you to notice in my layers I always create a construction line layer. I call it layout. You can call it construction line, X line, anything you want, but do create a layer. I don't recommend that you use the zero layer for construction lines. Use the layout layer. I usually give it a lighter color, either a yellow or a shade of yellow, uh, so I can lay out these construction lines. I'm going to make sure I'm on the layout layer, and I'm going to select construction line. Now I want you to notice this is the construction line command in the in the draw toolbar, but you can also find it here in the ribbon in the draw panel. Here it is right here, construction line, same command. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select select construction line and once I do I want you to come down to the command prompt and I want you to look and notice that you have X line specify a point or notice the, the options that you have horizontal vertical angle bisect and offset the three that I'm going to use to complete the, this drawing are horizontal vertical and angle the first one, I'm going to type in V for vertical and press enter. And notice I have a vertical construction line. Now, the bottom part of this inclined plane, it already exists. Basically, it's this edge of the top view. But you can't find this guy, this corner, in the, uh, in the top view, and that's where I'm going to select. I'm going to select this point right there, press enter to finish the command. I have just projected this corner up to the top view. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change to the Viz layer. I'm going to select Line. Remember, you can select Line from the Draw Toolbar or from the ribbon. I'm going to select Line. And I'm going to draw a line from where the construction line intersects the view here all the way to here. And press Enter to finish the command. This is the inclined plane in the top view. I want you to notice that, and remember this is the part that these uh, that are that is missing in the right side view. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this depth of the part to the right side view. And then the height, this part, the height to the right side view to complete this in this view. I'm going to go ahead and change back to the layout layer. And I'm going to go ahead and pick construction line, and I'm going to type in H for horizontal and press enter. Now right here, this is the maximum depth from here all the way back to here. This is the maximum depth of the object, and that's where I'm going to select. From here to here, this is the maximum depth of the object in the right side view. So now I'm going to press enter to finish the construction line command. I'm going to pick construction line again, type in V for vertical and press enter, and I'm going to project up the maximum depth from the right side view. Press enter to finish the command. So what I have is the maximum depth in the top view, maximum depth in the right side view. I want you to take notice of this intersection right here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select construction line this time, I'm going to select the option A for angle and press enter. Now, for the angle, all miter lines all, all are 45 degrees. Miter lines are 45 degrees. I'm going to type in 45 and press enter. There is my 45 degree miter line. I need to place it at the intersection where the total depth horizontally comes across, where the total depth vertically comes up, that's where I place my miter line. Press enter to finish the command. 
Now I'm able to project points from the top view to the miter line, from the miter line straight down to the front to the right side view. I'm going to select construction line. I'm going to type in H for horizontal and press enter. I'm going to project this point to the miter line. Basically, you see it going to the miter line here. I'm going to project this point. Notice that it goes to the miter line here as well. I've got both this and this. Both of this, these points are projected to the 45 degree miter line. I press enter to finish the command. Now what I'm going to do is select construction line again. Type in V for vertical. Press enter. And where this point intersects the miter line, that's where I'm going to pick. And I've just projected this point to the 45 degree miter line and straight down. Press enter to finish the command. I'm going to select construction line again. V for vertical, enter. This corner I'm going to project to the 45 and pick it here. I have projected this corner to the 45 and down. This is the depth of this piece. I'm going to press enter to finish the command. Now what I'm going to do is project the height to the right side view. I'm going to pick construction line, H for horizontal, and there is the height. Press enter to finish the command. This right here is that part this part missing in the right side view. I'm going to change to the visible layer. I want to select line from the draw toolbar and I'm going to pick from here to here to here to here. Press enter to finish the command and this part is this part in the front view. There's still some some things missing. First of all, the drill hole does not show in the right side view. The drill hole right here from the front view does not show in the right side view. I have to project those two holes along with their center lines. First, I'm going to go back to the layout layer. I'm going to select construction line and I'm going to pick H for horizontal and press enter. Now if I can't see very well because I'm very far out, I'm going to zoom it in to make sure that I select this point and this point. This is the diameter of this drill hole. And I'm also going to project the center line. Press enter to finish the command. I'm, going to, I'm, using, the, I'm using the wheel on my mouse to roll out, in and out. So you can use it as well on your mouse. Here, I have projected the diameter to the 45 degree miter line. I'm going to select construction line, V for vertical, press enter. Notice here where this first point of the diameter intersects the miter line, I pick and I've just projected it down. Where this point of the miter line, I mean of the, of the diameter intersects the miter line, I pick again, I've projected this point down. Where this point, the center line, intersects the miter line, I pick and I've projected the center line down to the right side view. I press enter to cancel the command. This construction line and this construction line indicate the diameter. This construction line is the center line. I'm going to change to the hidden layer pick line from the draw toolbar and I'm going to draw two hidden lines one from here to here press enter since I'm not going to another command I can invoke the same command by pressing enter again I pick here pick here press enter to cancel the command my hidden lines now I'm going to change to the center layer pick line from the draw toolbar pick from this intersection to this intersection, press enter to finish the command, I've got my center line. I want you to notice that center lines do not end at the object. They project past the object whatever distance you want. You will have to ask your instructor what distance he wants your center lines to project past these visible lines. 
I'm going to pick the center line. There are three blue boxes. As soon as I select it, notice, go to the bottom. There is nothing at the command prompt. With nothing showing at the command prompt, I select it and I end up with three blue boxes. These are called grips. Now, if you haven't gone through the modified toolbar tutorials, the grips uh, command is shown in the modified tutorials. So be sure and take a look at it sometime when you have time. I want to select the first grip. As soon as I pick it, it's going to turn red, which means that I made it hot. I'm going to pick it. It is red. I go straight up. Now remember, don't go off at an angle. You're going to go straight up, polar core, polar tracking. And I'm going to go ahead and make mine 0.2 past the visible line. I'm going to pick this grip, make it hot, come straight down, 0.2. And now, to cancel the grips, I hit Escape on my keyboard, and there's my center line. Now I've got another drill hole right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select construction line. I'm going to type in H for horizontal. And I'm going to put, boop, 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 what happened? Construction line. Oh, I'm sorry. There's the mistake. I didn't change to the layout layer. It happens sometimes to me. I'm going to hit the construction line button again. H for horizontal. And I'm going to pick right there. I'm going to transfer the diameter into there. You've got to be careful you don't pick the end point of the, uh, of the center line. And I'm going to press Enter to cancel the command, to uh, finish the command. And there I've transferred the, di the diameter to the right side view. I'm also going to go ahead and transfer the uh, center line right here. I'm going to transfer the center line, press Enter to finish the command. I've got the diameter transferred to the right side view, projected over, and I've got the center line uh, transferred or projected over to the right side view. Now I change to the hidden layer, and I'm going to pick line, and from this intersection to this intersection is the first line of the diameter. Press Enter. You're not going to change command, so you, all you have to do is press Enter again. You're in the same command again. Press pick from this intersection to this intersection, press enter to finish the command, there's the diameter. Now I'm going to change to the center layer, I'm going to pick line, and I'm going to pick from here to here, and press enter, there's my center line. I need to make sure it extends out, I remember, nothing at the command prompt. I pick it, there are my grips, I make this grip hot, move this way, Point two, be sure you're polar tracking. I'm going to make this grip hot, go out to the right, point two, hit escape on the keyboard, and now I've got the center line. One more line, and that is the inclined plane. So I'm going to change back to the layout layer. I'm going to select construction line, H for horizontal. This is the top part of the inclined plane. The bottom, I'm going to pick it. Press Enter to finish the command. There's my inclined plane. I come back up, back to the visible layer. Select Line. And from this intersection to this intersection, I press Enter. And now I've got the inclined plane showing in the right side view. I want you to notice something. I want you to notice that when you put some of your construction lines in, they ended up being on top of your visible lines. Can you see how you some of these guys disappeared, your visible lines disappeared. I'm going to show you how to put all these construction lines behind your visible lines. Out here into space, I'm not selecting anything, I'm just going to get grips. I'm going to pick and open up a crossing window. This is called a crossing window. And then up here, somewhere in space, I'm going to, oh, you have to be careful you don't touch your, you don't get your object. I'm going to pick here. I just want to select construction lines, not visible lines. I have selected all my construction lines. Now I'm going to come here to the ribbon. This is in the modify panel and I'm going to select send to back. And what has happened, all my construction lines have been sent to the back behind all my visible lines. Now you can see what you've drawn. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the layout layer. I'm going to go to layout. You see this light bulb? This will turn off the construction la the layout layer. Once I pick that, once I pick that button, notice how they disappear. 
I'm going to make sure they're gone. I turned off this layout layer, your construction line layer. Pick into the screen. This drawing is ready to print.